In the previous video, we saw how dilations stretched a line made by two points, 4,6 and 6,8. But what happens if we reflected the line instead, like reflecting in the y-axis? Just like dilations, reflecting also multiplies, but it strictly multiplies negative 1 and nothing else. This also depends on the axis being referred to, so let's see how this works with our two points. Good day, guys. This is the math base. Let's say we're asked to reflect the pre-image in the y-axis. If you watched my previous video on dilations, then you might suspect there are some keywords here too. And you would be correct. In this case, reflect means to multiply negative 1 by something. In the y-axis means that something is the x value. So we're multiplying all our x values by negative 1. Change it for the endpoints. 4,6 and 6,8, and the other points would follow suit since they sit on the line between these two points. For the first pre-image point, multiply 4 by negative 1, and we get negative 4,6. As for point number 2, multiply 6 by negative 1, and we have negative 6,8. Plot these image points on the same graph, and we see the line has now flipped over to the left side. You could think of it as the line was flipped sideways or has been turned around. It's rather fascinating how this works. It looks like it's, it's like looking in a mirror while pointing your hand downwards, only to see the reflection of your hand also pointing downwards, but back towards you. There is also the matter of the other axis. So let's take a look at that now. Say we're asked to reflect the pre-image in the x-axis. Naturally, this will mean we're multiplying the y values by negative 1. Do this for each pre-image point, and we get 4, negative 6 and 6, negative 8. Plot them out and we see our line has flipped downwards or underneath, just like looking at your reflection in the water. So very much like dilations, whichever axis they refer to, we multiply the opposite variable. And while there are arguably better ways to phrase transformations, it seems most common to do it this way in VCE methods. And because of this, Dilations and reflections always refer to the opposite variable. I hope this explanation made sense and helps you enjoy maths more. The next video will be on translations, so ring the bell if you don't want to miss that. Like the video if you found it helpful, and please subscribe if you haven't joined the channel yet. Thanks guys, happy studying!